Hi Year 2, um, it's time to learn some history. Today we're going to learn about transport and how it's changed over time. Watch the video carefully to see how cars, buses, bicycles and trains have changed over time. What do you think trains were like in the past? Let's go on a journey and find out. Choo choo! Here comes the train. This is the Flying Scotsman, one of the most famous trains in the world. The engine was built nearly a hundred years ago and was called the Flying Scotsman because it travelled on the line between London in the south of England and Edinburgh in Scotland. The Flying Scotsman is a steam engine. The fireman puts coal on the fire, which heats water in a boiler, to make steam. The steam helps to push the train forward. From the beginning, this was a very special train. It was the first train to do the journey to Scotland without stopping. And it was the fastest train of its day. In 1934, it was the first ever train to break the speed barrier of 100 miles per hour. That's 160 kilometers an hour. It was painted a smart apple green, like all the passenger trains on its railway line, and everybody loved it. I'm going on a steam train ride, and this is the engine that's going to pull all the carriages along. This is the kind of train your granny and granddad used to ride on. It's called a steam train because it uses steam to make it go. This is how it works. The fireman shovels coal into the firebox. It's very hot in here. And the fire heats up the water in this boiler, just like in a kettle. The water turns into steam and the steam pushes these pistons, which go backwards and forwards and turn the wheels round. Up, oh, the guard's blowing his whistle. That means it's time to go. Hey, don't go without me. China has unveiled a new train which can travel up to 500 kilometres an hour. The country has the world's largest high-speed rail system. This super-fast vehicle is the first train to have been completely developed and made in China. It's been built using very lightweight materials to reduce the weight and increase the speed. It's apparently been designed to resemble an ancient Chinese sword. The train has touchscreen controls and comfy red seats. Now let's see how cars have changed. Bang bang chitty chitty bang bang, our fun for friendly friend. Bang bang chitty chitty bang bang, our fun for friendly friend. Your sleep as a thoroughbred. Your seats are a feather bed. To turn everybody's head today. We'll glide on our motor trip. With pride in our ownership, the envy of all we survey. Oh, chitty, bang, chitty, chitty, bang, bang, chitty, chitty, bang, bang, we love you. And chitty, and chitty, pretty, chitty, bang, bang, chitty, chitty, bang, bang, what we'll do? Chitty, for chitty, in a motor car, oh, whatever time we spend. Bang, bang, chitty, chitty, bang, bang, our fine for friend, friend. Bang, bang, chitty, chitty, bang, bang, our fine for friend. Chitty, bang, bang, chitty, chitty, bang, bang, fine for friend. So how have cars changed over the years? Think about speed, design and safety.
In Victorian times, horse and carriage was the most popular form of transport. By 1900, most buses in London were being driven by horsepower, but a new way of travelling was being sought. It was expensive to feed horses and look after them all day while they were working. So there were experiments going on with steam, batteries and petrol engines. Engineers tried to find out the most economic and reliable way of replacing horses. The first type of bus was known as a motor bus and it had a wooden frame and steel wheels and a gearbox. The first bus to have a petrol engine was invented in 1899 and these buses were so reliable that lots of new routes were developed linking buses to train stations and connecting the countryside areas to the city. During the 1880s, cycling suddenly became the fashion, as bicycles with equal-sized wheels and new air-filled tyres were introduced. They were a cheap and useful means of transport for delivery boys who took packages to the new middle-class houses. And they even gave rise to a new Victorian popular daisy, song. Daisy, daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, I can't afford a carriage. But you look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle made for two. Now that you've watched the video, children, your task is to have a look at some photographs of different forms of transport. You need to find three photos of each type and sequence them in time order. You could start with trains. Find three pictures of trains and then order them, starting from the oldest type to the most modern type. You need to put the pictures onto the activity sheets. Then you need to find three ways in which each transport has changed. You can watch the video to get ideas or you can do your own research. You'll need to write down three sentences showing what you've found out. Good luck! <laughs>